Dear children, today we are going to learn in division topic, okay, the properties of division, okay, we have already seen division topic, today we move on to the subdivision, that is subtopic, that is properties of division, okay, this is our topic, that is properties of division. properties of division for your grade level that is third and fourth okay in your grade level third the number will be that is a small number and in your grade fourth level that is the number will be more than four digit or that is five digit okay that is properties of division first point that is if you divide the number that is the dividend is divided by the same number Okay, for example, I am going to write few more, few example sums. Okay, that is 91, that is divided by same number. Okay, that is, this is a dividend. Okay, and the divisor also the same number. The answer will be, that is 1. Okay, that is, dividend is divided by the same number. The answer will be 1 and the reminder will be 0 okay and second one that is if it is this number that is 236 which is the dividend which is divided by 1 the answer will be the same dividend number okay that is the answer will be 236 okay and third one that is if it is divided by 0 okay division by 0 is not possible okay that is 108 that is divided by 0 the answer will be the 0 okay the quotient is 0 so here 91 that is divided by the same number the quotient will be 1 okay and that is the number which if it is divided by 1 the answer will be quotient quotient will be the same number that is a similar to that of same as the dividend okay and if it is divided by 0 except 0 you can't divide 0 by 0 okay 0 division of 0 is not possible so, if, if you divide any number by 0, the quotient will be 0. Okay. And fourth point, division is opposite of multiplication. That's the notable point. That is division is opposite to the multiplication. Okay. Division is opposite to that of multiplication and fifth point that is division of zero is not possible okay that is division of zero is not possible okay so these are the properties of division okay that is same number the answer will be 1 by divide by 1 the dividend will be the answer by 0 the answer will be 0 and division is opposite to that of opposite of multiplication because multiplication means repeated addition and division means repeated subtraction we have discussed example sums that of repeated subtraction in our previous video okay and division of 0 is not possible so these are the properties of division in your grade level that is third and fourth in your grade level the number will be the bigger number if it is a 91 in your grade level third somewhat here that is four digit number or five digit number that is divided by same number that is the answer will be one in your grade level somewhat bigger number in your grade level fourth and here also that is more than 
four digit number that is divided by one okay the answer will be the same dividend okay that is same number will be the quotient here itself so these are the difference between neo that is grade and third and fourth the properties are same in your standard level okay so these are the main properties of division and we move on to the next division in your grade level 4 that is five digit numbers by single digit number and find out the quotient and reminder that is for division okay in your grade level that is division by single digit number okay that is in your grade level fourth okay i am going to do two example sums for your normal division okay that is let me take that is okay that is divided by that is three okay more than four digit okay this is a five digit number that is 56665 that is divided by the divisor is three okay now you have to say the multiplication table three okay that is one three is 3 okay for your normal division you have to subtract this number that is 5 minus 3 that is answer will be 2 and 6 put down this 6 okay now that is 26 okay in your third table you have to say up to the number least number of 26 okay that is 8 threes are 24 okay and 9 threes are 27 that will be more than 26 so you have to take the number 8 okay that is 8 threes are 24 subtract the number you have to subtract 24 from 26 that is 6 minus 4 that is 2 okay here 2 minus 2 that is 0 and put down this 6 next digit number put down this 6 and now again this is 26 same that is 8 threes are 24 again subtract this number you get 2 and put down this 6 okay and again that is same because of this 6 number that is 8 threes are again 24 and subtract this you get 2 and finally put down this number 5 and now that is 9, 4, 8, threes are 24 and 9, threes are 27. Same that is 8, threes are 24 and the remaining number that is 1. Here that is quotient is equal to that is 1, 8, 8, 8 and 8 and the remainder will be that is 1. Okay, this is a long division method in your grade level fourth standard you get and write down the quotient and reminder okay and let me make it this division uh, we have to follow next example with the same example sum how to verify and check the answer okay this is your second level in your division sum that is to verify the answer whether it is right or wrong okay so there is a simple formula to find out this division is right or wrong okay the formula is that is dividend okay i'm going to write the formula that is dividend is equal to that is quotient i'm i'm going to write in short form that is q u o quotient into divisor and plus remainder okay you have to remember this formula okay to verify the division is whether it is right or wrong so this division sum pattern is verify and check okay verify and check okay we are going to explain by using the same division sum okay and that is here dividend okay dividend is that is a, this number okay this is a dividend and this is a divisor 
and this is the quotient and one will be, one is the remainder in our grade level third we have learned about the terms in division okay do you remember that what is dividend okay the number to be divide and divide by which number that is divisor and the answer will be the quotient and leftover number is the remainder okay do you remember that so now we are going to write this dividend okay that is dividend is here it is 56000 okay 665 equal to that is quotient okay here quotient is that is 18888 okay into that is multiplied by 3 into 3 okay and that is plus okay plus and the remainder is 1 okay simply check the number here that is dividend write this number okay and this one is quotient here the quotient is 18888 into divisor here the divisor is 3 okay and plus that is remainder that is a remainder is equal to 1 okay now you have to multiply this number okay i'm doing here that is 18888 into 3 okay that is 8 3s are 24 put over here the 2 and 8 3s are 24 25 26 carry over 2 8 3s are 24 again 26 carry over 2 8 3s are 24 25 26 carry over 2 and 1 3 is 3 and 3 plus 2 5 okay and that is 5 6 664 that is 56664 plus that is 1 you have to add 1 to this number 4 plus 1 that is 5 put down this 6 6 and 6 put down this 5 the answer is 5 56665 here that is 56,665 is equal to that of that answer also 65. Here the answer of left hand side and right hand side is same. So our division is hence the division is correct. Okay. So you have to write this answer that is hence the division is correct okay so this is a method to verify and check by using this simple formula so you have to uh, memorize this formula and apply this number and make an answer and check the number both the left hand side and right hand side are same so this one is a correct one so hence the division is correct okay let me move on to the next word problem and division.